You are pregnant again. Yes, we are planning for baby number two. When is the baby due? Who <laughs> are like making fun of me how I was before. Some of us gained 100 pounds. Was it hard after giving birth to accept your body? The reason why mm. we go crazy? Hello, mates. Guys, today we're going to be answering some... Gio's already over it, guys. <laughs> we're going to be answering some questions. So you guys had and mates let's get into it geo is keen <laughs> about it all right guys so we posted on instagram this is really serious some questions to answer uh geo's not really happy right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh first one is when did you start winning geo off breastfeeding mom hair um geo's still on the tit mates <laughs> He's still drinking, breastfeeding. I haven't done anything. There's nothing to separate him. I think he's naturally starting to do it by himself. Yeah. As time goes by, I do feel like he drinks yeah. less. And he's kind of naturally weaning himself off. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Because it's like about that period where I guess we're going to start Ooh. or whatever. But I feel like he's showing more interest in foods. Mm -hmm. And a little bit less in the breast milk as yeah. time goes by. So I think he's naturally just doing it by himself. Yeah. He's teething. He has two teeth. A third one coming in, guys. So mm -hmm. this one we gave him a little chewing toy. When are you trying for baby number two? This was the number one asked question here. We're literally so, gonna have to answer this and address this every single yeah. video. I feel like a lot of people that ask these questions, we get these asked a lot, but I feel like it's from new subscribers. Mm. Baby number two, me and Dominic are actually planning for this. We were talking about it. We're not gonna reveal our plans, but it has changed from what we originally mm. said. And you will see soon. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yes, we are planning for baby number two but it is also a lot sooner than, than expected yeah that we originally planned next question is too special guys yeah okay this is a good one how are you handling postpartum and do you have all the support you need mentally oh mates postpartum has been it's been a roller coaster up and mm. down but it's been so much better ever since giovanni started crawling and now he's standing i feel like the older he gets the easier it is and obviously yeah. like yes Thank you. Yes, we know. Gio, like, yeah. And also having Dominic here, his support has been amazing. Like, oh, and getting enough enough sleep. I feel like mm, sleep plays a important. huge yeah. factor in this. Like, you need to sleep. It's been great. Of course, at the beginning it was rough, but now I think we're doing we're doing really well. You're doing amazing. Oh, it's weak. Yeah, it's teamwork. Yeah. yeah. For me personally, it helps to have a routine. Like, if I didn't get mm. enough hours of sleep in the morning, Dominic would take Gio and he. Mm. <laughs> You're done with it, Joe? <laughs> it's a new other toy right here. Yeah, or do you want it? Mm, you see that Dominic would take Gio and they would just hang out and then I would get enough sleep. I feel like you need to sleep. The reason why mm. we go crazy is because we don't have sleep, mates. Mm. You see this? Babies, they're always like... Mm -hmm. But Gio's not a baby anymore. Can you imagine? He's not a little baby. I still well, what is he then? I still consider he's him a, a baby. He's a toddler. He's a toddler? Mm -hmm. What age is a toddler? Let us know, but I feel like yeah. he's too big to be a he's baby. He's my little baby. Yeah. You don't want to be a baby? You want to be a toddler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be a toddler. But yeah. Um, yeah, I would say the number one thing is I got some sleep, mate. Like, I think it's time, too. Yeah, time. Like, just sometimes you can't end it at the moment you want to end it. I think sometimes it's a process. Mm -hmm. That small things that you do over time that do make it better. Obviously, mm -hmm. like I don't know, but I've observed from you that it was like small little changes you started to do mm -hmm. that over time added up and just helped a lot. Mm -hmm. And time as well, too, right? The recovery and everything. And also, I think that for me, at the beginning, working out, it re mm. yo, it really helped. You don't have to go to the gym. Just doing something like to relieve all the stress and tension in your body. We went on a lot of walks just to get out and have some fresh air. So that really, really helped me. I think, too, like, don't, don't be shy to tell your partner that you do need like a little break like mm -hmm. you need time to yourself to just recoup mm -hmm. and to rest or whatever you need right mm -hmm. you just have to communicate to your partner mm -hmm. we're all over the place that's what happens when you this, have a, a this, child this is a messy yeah, that it's video messy. We <laughs> once you went to nap we started and then he just woke up yeah it's too much <laughs> 
Instagram. Okay, this is a good one. How do you manage the newborn nights? I have an eight week old and oh my goodness. Girl, let me tell you, you need a whole plan. Me and Dominic, what we did is throughout the night, I would watch Geo and I would be with him. And then when I woke up, Dominic would watch Geo and I would sleep. So that was our little routine. Like, like a little tag Dom team. slept through the night, I slept in the morning. Because if you mm. don't have that, yeah, it's too much. You, you need to catch up. Like yeah. sleep when the baby sleeps, sometimes you can't. And mm -hmm. it's like, you don't get into deep sleep. Cause like babies have different sleep patterns than adults, right? Like in terms of REM sleep and stuff like that, it's not the same and it adapts as they get older. That's mm -hmm. why they sleep very infrequently at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So you can't necessarily match the pattern, right? Mm -hmm. you, I mean, you obviously do your best, but for us, that's what worked. It yeah. was basically like almost taking shifts. Like we mm -hmm. almost took shifts, right? And I tried the whole sleep when the baby sleep. It didn't work. Cause nah. it's like, I didn't want to sleep. You know, I had energy and then that's what worked for us. Do what's best for you and your partner or if you're alone. Oh, to all the single mothers out there. Yo, if I was a single mother, I'd be like, I'm a single mom. It's my personality. Like, <laughs> I get it. It's so hard and I can't, I don't even, I wouldn't be able to do this on my own. Like, it's too much, mate. It's too much, Gio. But and then they oh, laugh and it's smile. worth it. Yeah. Right. Oh, you, you got lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was it hard? You got a new toy, guys. These are the best toys. Yeah. Pro tip, parenthood. You just gotta grab stuff, like, random stuff Literally. and see what they like. Was it hard after giving birth to accept your body? Oh, mates. The thing is like, I don't think it would have been as hard if it wasn't for the hate that I got. It was way too much. And if you guys saw, we don't post as much on Instagram or TikTok because people were so disrespectful that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take some time off for my mental health and just not even go on social media and just focus on myself and just enjoy time with my baby because I was not gonna deal with all the hate. And that's what we did. We took time off, just really like regaining my confidence. And now we're posting a little more on, on um, Instagram. We're gonna go back to posting on TikTok. I'm not gonna compromise my sanity for a couple of views, right? I was like, I'm not doing it. People were saying, I went viral everywhere, mates. People were like making fun of me how I was before to like, they're like, oh, you had the perfect body and then you got pregnant, nah, nah. And as if I just sat there and like let myself get mm. like obese, you know? So it's just like, they I was pregnant. They don't know like, anything about the yeah. story. They don't know anything. And they just judge off of just looking and at And I saw posts are like, video. oh, women like her when they're pregnant, they just sit and eat. Bro, I was going up flights of stairs. Like I was very active. And it's just like, just all the misconceptions and all these things people were saying, it was just too much. And I just had my baby. Dominic was like, yo, we don't need to be going through this. So I would recommend if you're someone that's like super sensitive, especially like if you had a baby in your body it's like you know you gain a lot of weight just take some time off are you pregnant how far is the pregnancy when is the baby due <laughs> mates my stomach is just still big which is normal you guys like it's normal to have a pouch like everyone's body is different there's so many people that are like well i've been pregnant before and my stomach shrunk after like three months i'm not you honey okay some of us gained 100 pounds it's gonna take a little while for it to go Ooh, down i am working out and you know my stomach's gonna go down <laughs> Period. Thank mm -hmm. you, Gio. My son is gonna go down when it's time to go down. Yo, let your body do a thing. That's it. You are pregnant again, bro. You got bro, me. It's, it's not even a question. <laughs> no. It's just like you are pregnant. Yeah, got me there. <laughs> Who changes more diapers? You know so, what? So no, no, no. At the beginning, it was you. Okay, it's Dominic. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't even gonna say me. I was gonna say oh. that I feel it's interesting how you see online or you see like movies or whatever, and it's like this whole thing. You change it, okay? Uh, he just pee, okay? You change it, or you get the next one. It's not even like that. Like, well, for us, it's yeah. just basically like if you're with him when it happens. No, mates, we're learning to like disciplining Geo. Hmm. It's too much. Come here, my little angel. Yeah, it's not even like a, 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 a point system. Yeah. I feel like sometimes a, people, a couple relationship is like a point system. Yeah. I change it last time. You just, <laughs> Yo, turn. I can change. Three in a row, Naka could change three yeah. in a row. We don't, we don't count points. It's just mm -hmm. like whoever's with them when it happens. Guys, you, you hear that? That's Gio telling me he wants the milk. Be right back. <laughs> it's just who's with them at the time that it happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's a responsibility of any parent mm -hmm. and it's nothing. If you're going to be a parent, you know, it's going to be something you're going to have to do. So mm -hmm. I, I don't personally, I don't really understand the whole like hot potato thing. But or, like, because do it, I do some it, men don't, like, they don't change yeah, diapers. Like, I, I don't get that. Like Ooh. you decide to have a child. It's part of being yeah. a parent. You know what I mean? So, but for us, Dominic does most of it just because I don't know. It just so happens that. Yeah, it's not it, planned. Well, though, yeah. Man, you know, so. like sometimes Gio's diaper needs to be changed and I can see that Nak is tired. I'm going to offer it, be like, okay, 
change it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to step in because I can see that she's tired. I'm not going to let her go through that. <laughs> you know, it's, yes. I'm, I'm trying to help the most I can. Exactly. So. How do you get Jill to eat food other than milk? Yo, it's this, a trial and error. This is a, in my personal opinion, this might be wrong. It's not, you know, science based or whatever it is. But mm -hmm. in my opinion, I feel a lot of babies will tell you when they want to start eating food or like mm -hmm. as a mother, as a parent, as a father, you have an intuition that your child needs to start eating food mm -hmm. and don't feel stressed. I feel like there's a lot of pressure Yo, that they need to eat like ASAP. They need to be this. People are stressing me out Whoa. like every day. Yeah. Is he eating now? Like, yo, we mind your starting, business. Oh my God. We, we we start to introduce food and we saw that he wasn't really about it and, and we kept trying and see different foods and he still wasn't about it. So we took a break. So then it was kind of like an on and off thing. Like we saw mm -hmm. that he wasn't really into the food. Mm -hmm. So then we took a break and then we tried again later on. Mm -hmm. And then now he wants the food and he's asking for food. Yeah, and like a you don't have to more. force him and you don't Not have to do this. Day, yeah. So it just depends obviously on your child. Yeah. But yeah, Percy, I just feel like it's a trial and error type of thing where you can try different <laughs> foods. Still doesn't want to. Don't stress. Like he's getting all the nutrients from the milk, mm -hmm. and if you feed him other stuff as well, and if well, he doesn't right? want to eat, don't feed, don't yeah. don't feed him. It shouldn't be like you shouldn't have to hold him oh down. Oh my and, like, lord! I don't know. And and now he's even started to like grow more of an appetite, mm -hmm. and it goes back to the question about weaning, right? Because now he's trying to eat more food, so now he's trying to eat less breast milk, right? Don't stress. If your baby's healthy, don't stress too much about it. I would say. What's your daughter's name? Uh, <gasps> we. <laughs> I don't know what this question means, but I mean, we have a list. Yeah. Maka has a big list of, of names for future for, daughters. Yeah. How has life been now that you're a family of three? Honestly, it's been amazing. amazing. And it's completely different, yeah. you know? It just, I was telling Naka this the other day, like I love the dynamic of the three of us, like our yes. family and all the things that we do together and mm -hmm. how we handle situations, how we have fun. It's definitely amazing. It feels, I don't want to sound corny, it feels fulfilled, you know? But I feel more like, I don't know, I just feel fulfilled, you know? It's like- Yeah, it's true. And like just hang out like, like this, you know? Like it's fun, we can yeah. just hang out and just watch Gio grow together. It's, yeah. It's undescribable. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, have another one. But in my mind, I'm like, how can I? I love another baby or like mm. another child Gio the way that so I much. love Gio because it's like I feel like one is enough I'm complete you know and like yeah, we go back you. and forth with that on having another child because it's like for what you know like mm. I'm so happy with my little TV but yeah here you go Gio he's so special yeah he is he's amazing yeah, 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 yeah. What's the biggest challenge you face in terms of time management? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, for us personally, I think what helps is to not feel stressed or overwhelmed is to have flexibility. Mm -hmm. You know, like if it's nap time, you can't force him to go to bed. Like, yeah. you know, so have flexibility. <laughs> he likes that. You like some flexibility, right? Mm -hmm. And be flexible and change your schedule to adapt as well too. Like for like example, if Gio wakes up at eight or seven, I want to wake up at six to get all the stuff I need to do. Yeah. Yeah. get done before he wakes up so when i'm here i can take him my knack i can rest and we can have a team thing right mm -hmm. so <laughs> yes Gio's in a good mood we're gonna go play let us know in the comment section if you're a mother any advice that you would have to all the questions that were asked because mates we're all in he this together we're all growing he what he sees the mic. oh shoot mates we gotta go so <laughs> we'll see you in the next video Bye.